Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Christina. Today's video is going to be a Sephora VIB sale recommendations video. In preparation for this video, I literally went on my Sephora app and I looked at all of my past orders and I went through all the way to the very first order that I made like, I don't know, three or four years ago and I picked out what I still love, what I use a lot of, what maybe I have used up, and everything in between that, and I just picked that, put a list together, and decided that those are the things that I'm going to recommend to you guys. And I've split it up into three groups. I've done skincare, makeup, and hair. I will also be including in the description box the products that I'm planning on purchasing, the ones that I have never tried maybe, or also... I guess the things that I'm going to restock on because there are a lot of products that I love from Sephora that I need to stock up on because they're just the best. So I will add those into the description box down below. I'm going to just name them off, give you a little bit about each product. If you guys have any more questions about the products that I'm including in this video, please make sure to comment in the comments down below and let me know any of your questions or any suggestions or let me know if you've ever used it before and if you like it if you hate it I don't know um but yeah just let me know and I will be very active in the comment section as well without further ado let's get started so the first two things that I highly recommend that you guys purchase are moisturizers the two moisturizers that I really really enjoy is this one this is just a sample size of the Tarte drink of h2o moisturizer and the tatcha water cream moisturizer i am pretty much out of this bad boy i love it so much it is very expensive so i highly recommend that you purchase it during the sale i tend to go for lighter moisturizers because i do have oily skin the next thing that i highly recommend is really anything from drunk elephant i think that this sale is the number one time to try a drunk elephant item because it is so expensive all of their skincare is amazing but it is very very pricey i don't think i've ever purchased any of their skincare full price i always wait for the sale and i highly recommend that you guys do that too i tend to go for the kits because they have really really great kits they include full size products as well as some little travel or sample deluxe sample sizes one of my favorite hands down products from drunk elephant is their c firma serum one of the reasons why i really like this vitamin c serum is because it feels a little more like a moisturizer rather than a serum this one really just absorbs into the skin I noticed that my skin looks super bright it helps with my sunspots and my freckling and I just really love this I feel like it lasts a pretty long time and I actually got this in a kit as well I've actually gone through a couple bottles of this and this is the Ula Henriksen balancing force oil control toner I really love toners especially when I'm breaking out and because I have oily skin I find it's a very very important that I use a toner in the morning and at night um, the Ula Henriksen one I picked up because of Desi Perkins and I really love it I feel like it really balances my skin pretty much out of this I'm like at the very bottom so I will be repurchasing this one the next product I want to talk about is the Ula Henriksen C bright eye cream I think it is it's the eye cream in the orange jar Jar. I actually don't have it anymore because I finished it up a couple weeks ago and I want it so badly so I'm going to be repurchasing it it's such a nice eye cream it's not too thick so your makeup still goes on to it very well so it makes your eyes your under eyes look super bright and just moisturized I feel like it really helped with the hydration under my eyes and again I really like vitamin C serums and products in general because I feel like it really helps with my freckling and with my sunspots and a lot of my freckling and sunspots are right up here on my cheekbones so having a vitamin c serum as well as an eye cream 
that has vitamin C, it's like double duty and I love that. So I highly recommend that. The next two products, they are no strangers to my channel. They are the Ordinary products. I have here the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% and the Buffet. These two I use pretty much every day. Typically what I like to do is use Buffet in the morning and Niacinamide at night. This one just makes your skin and your texture just look super soft and smooth. I feel like this also helps with oil and blemishes in my case. I can't say if that helps with everybody, but for me, I feel like it really helps control my skin as well. To me, the Buffet is almost like a hydrator, but for oily skin because it's not super, super hydrating where you look greasy, but it also just looks so good and absorbs into the skin and allows for a nice good canvas for the rest of your skincare as well as your makeup. In my opinion, the reviews on the actual Ordinary website are a lot better than the ones on the Sephora website. There's a ton more and they have so much information on their websites. So I highly recommend checking out their website before purchasing on Sephora. Um, and also the glycolic toner, that one is really good and it comes in a giant bottle. The next product is also no stranger to my channel. This is the Laneige sleeping mask, the lip sleeping mask. I love this lip sleeping mask more than any other lip product I've ever tried. This has really helped with my dry lips and whenever I have like crusty lips going on um, during the winter, it really helps. I love to put this on morning and night. This really preps my lips for any lip products whenever I'm uh, doing my makeup in the morning. And also at night, it's just like absorbs into your lips and makes your lips look so plump and so soft. It smells really, really good and it's just so cute and it lasts forever. I have a mini one that I got as a 100 point perk, I think it was, and I use that one during the day and I keep it in my purse um, to carry around with me and I still haven't finished it. The next product I have for you guys is just more of a general product. Um, but it's a cleansing balm. And I have this one right here. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I really like cleansing balms to remove my makeup. I feel like it's such a foolproof way to take it off because it's not stripping your skin of anything if you already have dry skin. And even if you have oily skin, it just feels nice. Like it feels really nice to massage into your face. Basically what a cleansing balm is, is it's a semi-solid I would say it's a pretty solid balm and this one comes with a little spatula right here and what you do is you take it into your dry hands and you rub it together until it melts and then you just massage it onto your skin to remove all of your makeup some people just use this to cleanse their face at night which is great but for me personally because I have oily skin I don't like the feeling or the residue of any type of cleansing balm I like the feeling of it when I'm taking my makeup off but I also want to make sure that I get all of it off so I double cleanse which means I use a cleansing balm as well as a face wash or just another cleanser. But this one's really great. I really like the Clinique one too and I also know that Drunk Elephant just came out with one. I haven't tried that one out yet but I'm sure that one is great as well so I highly recommend any cleansing balm. Okay so I forgot to grab this one but the Youth to the People Superberry Hydrating Glow Oil, I think that's the name of it, is amazing. It's one of my favorite oils. That one and the Tarte Maracuja Oil. Those two oils are my holy grail oils. Um, they're so nice and light on the skin, especially, again, if you have a combo to oily skin. It makes your face look so bright and just youthful and awake whenever you wake up in the morning. I find that it does not break me out. I like to switch between the two. Sometimes I'll take it into my night moisturizer and I'll do a couple drops of either oil and then I rub it between my hands and then I press it onto the skin. Very, very beautiful. They apply so, so well. The second that I used the Youth to the People um, oil, it was just, I knew that I was going to love it so much. Next up, I have a very <laughs> ridiculously expensive product. This is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. This is just a small bottle and it's $100. Just like the Drunk Elephant products, I bought this in a kit. This came with a mask and then I think a moisturizer and 
something else. There was something else there. It was a four piece kit, but I mainly got it for this. It was a way better value to get this than the kit. And honestly, I really like this. I was kind of skeptical about the whole essence thing. It is a product that you have to continuously use in order to see a difference. I think that this gives my skin really good moisture and I think that this might be the product that is actually really, really balancing my skin. Like those other products help a lot to balance my skin, but I think that this is literally going into my skin and just evening everything out and it's really, really great. Essences are not a must have in skincare by any means, but honestly, if you wanna splurge or if you've been interested in trying the SK2 Essence, I recommend it. I think it's really great, but again, very expensive. I don't know if I'm going to purchase this again whenever I run out. Maybe I'll wait for another sale. Maybe I'll buy another kit. Who knows? But I am glad that I have it right now and I do really like it. Next product I have is a tool and that is my Foreo. This little guy is just amazing. I have the Foreo Luna Fofo, I think that's what it's called, and it has like some photo something, I don't know. I have never used the app for this, I just use the Foreo and that's that. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is battery operated, so whenever the battery dies, I can just switch it out, at least I hope, but if I can't, I will definitely, definitely purchase this again. I was a hardcore Clarisonic user for years, since 2013, and I think I started using this, um, last year like last spring and i really really like this it's a lot more compact and also it doesn't hold the bacteria because of the material that it's made of but it beeps or it kind of like pulses whenever it's time to move on to another part of your face like it does the right side left side your forehead and then like down your t-zone and then it'll do like three little pulses whenever the whole minute is up and then that's when you know that you're good to go. I use this day and night. It's not too abrasive for the face and I feel like it's a lot easier to transition into not using a facial brush versus using one. Um, with a Clarisonic, I know that some people with their faces, they tended to break out whenever they started. I didn't find that it did that to me, but then again, I did start with a Clarisonic and then move over to this, so I can't say for sure. But this standalone product, I really, really like, and I will continue to use this, and I think it's a great value for how many times you can use it. All right, so moving right along to the makeup, I actually posted a little poll on my YouTube channel um, asking you guys, what you tend to buy the most of during the sale and most of you guys said makeup and I thought that I was a hardcore skincare person but I have a lot more makeup than I have skincare to recommend to you guys so I guess I as well um, buy a lot of makeup during the sales. I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer right here. This primer is gorgeous. It feels so nice and smooth on the skin. It does not pill. It has a very nice fragrance to it, very subtle, so I don't think that it would be irritating for most people. There's a lot of product in this. I have used it for a couple months now and I feel like I haven't even made a considerable dent in it. I use this like crazy. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. This is such a beautiful bronzer. Now, when I get very tan in the summer, I can't wear this because it doesn't really show up on my skin that much unless I really build and build and build and that just feels like I'm wasting product. But I've been using this, I wanna say, since last fall and I love it. It is so natural on the skin. It's very buildable, never looks patchy, smells great, smells like coconuts. Um, and it's just giant, like this is insane. I'm very glad that they made this a permanent uh, product in their collection because I think it's one of the best bronzers I've ever used hands down. I really think it's worth the money. If you guys have been debating on if you should get it, I really think that you should because I honestly think it's such an easy bronzer. Like you barely have to think about it because it just doesn't get muddy. I have an eyeshadow palette and it's actually the only eyeshadow palette that I'm going to recommend to you guys because honestly, I feel like I haven't been using a ton of my eyeshadow palettes lately. I've just been doing 
simple makeup without eyeshadow I I know like what kind of a beauty guru am I <laughs> this one I know for sure I want to recommend to you guys it's the Anastasia soft glam palette if you don't have it already you should so this is the palette right here it is a bunch of neutrals but it's a bunch of neutrals that I know that I wear and I feel like a lot of people can wear what I really like about this palette is that you could do very simple eye looks like just a wash of color on your lids or you could just get super intricate and do like cut creases and cat eyes and just like honestly anything and it looks gorgeous even if you don't use this palette solely they have this has really even if you don't use this palette solely the transition colors in this palette are really really great for other shadows so i mean i use burnt orange all the time i really like i i really like all of these uh transition colors right here they're just really really great and then the shimmers are just so beautiful and whenever you spray it with fix plus it just like takes it to another dimension so really really recommend this palette it is a little bit of a softer formula so it can get a little powdery but honestly it's not a big deal for me the next two products i actually don't have with me again but i talk about them constantly and I feel like you guys have already picked them up. At least I hope you have. They are the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, like the universal first shade that they came out with. And um, the Lancome Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara. Those two products I am obsessed with. I will forever be purchasing those. I just purchased another Lancome uh, mascara because I'm actually going out of town the day that the sale starts. Um, and I won't be coming back until I think <clears throat> I actually already purchased another Lancome mascara because I am leaving the day that the sale starts and I want to make sure that I have a fresh tube for my vacation so I just went ahead and picked it up and honestly if a mascara is full price like that I will only pick it up if I am obsessed with it and I really really am this is like my third or fourth bottle I think in the last couple months <laughs> i want to say but yeah really really great products highly recommend to you guys so the next product that i have is the Too faced multi-use uh sculpting concealer now i have only really used this as concealer but i love this concealer it is moisturizing it does not cake up under the eyes it covers your acne scarring and your just anything like any imperfections on the face it covers and it looks healthy i cannot get enough of this concealer it just looks moisturizing and even when you set it with a powder it still looks healthy i have it on today and i have two shades i have natural beige and warm beige sometimes i mix the two sometimes i just go for one or the other um, warm beige works really well for my under eyes whenever i'm super tan and, and natural beige just works pretty much any other time <laughs> when I'm not tan. I feel like there is a ton of product in here since it is supposed to be a multi-use. And yeah, I highly recommend these if you guys are looking to try out a new concealer that will cover everything up and they have a really, really good shade range as well. It was really difficult to find a shade, hence why I bought two. Another product that I think is very worth picking up are the Becca Highlights. I have one right here. This is my favorite Becca Highlight this is in opal and it's just gorgeous i have not hit pan on this surprisingly this is the very first highlight or the very first becca highlight that i bought i have not hit pan <laughs> this is a beautiful champagne gold shade looks gorgeous on the skin no matter what type of skin tone i have at the moment um they're buttery they're soft and smooth they're not glittery they're just all sheen and it just makes your skin look so so healthy there's something about these highlights that just i just love them they're just so good i love opal champagne pop and moonstone those three are just 
staples. I really don't think that you can go wrong with any of those. They look gorgeous on the skin, but today I am wearing a different highlight that I also recommend to you guys, and it is the Anastasia Amrezi Highlight. I bought this whenever it first came out, and I believe it is now part of their permanent collection, which is really great. Not only is it gorgeous on the skin, but it's gorgeous in the pan. Like, I love that it has these waves in it because it literally has um, little divots and, and curves in it, but it's also, oh my god, it's so gorgeous. It's not as buttery as the Becca ones, but it still is very, very soft and smooth, and this highlight just, like, is in your face highlight. This is not something that I typically wear to work on like a day that I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. I love wearing this out whenever I go out at night. I love wearing this on like date nights or whenever I go out with my friends. It just looks gorgeous in pictures. Um, really, really, really recommend it. All right, I actually have another concealer. It is the Becca Aqualuminous uh, perfecting concealer. This is really, really great, and I really like this for when I'm doing an everyday look. It looks really great on a full face of makeup, but for me personally, I feel like it looks so nice and healthy on the skin as an everyday type of thing. So what I like to do with this is spot conceal as well as cover um, any dark circles under my eyes, blend that out, put some powder on, and then I feel ready to go. This I have in beige. They don't have as many colors as the Too Faced concealer um, but if you are lucky enough to find a shade that matches your skin tone I highly recommend this just feels so light on the skin but it also covers really really well I also recommend this Urban Decay One and Done Naked Skin Tint. Um, I think that this is beautiful. It's pretty much like a tinted moisturizer in my opinion, but a little bit more coverage. Like I would say it's a hybrid between foundation and moisturizer, or a tinted moisturizer. I have this in the shade Medium. It's very beautiful. I love this little pump packaging. I think that it's great because I feel like I'm getting all of the product out of here whenever I'm using it. It feels really nice on the skin. I love to use this during the day and it lasts for hours. I don't know if it lasts like all day, all day, like throughout a whole work day plus dinner plus drinks or something. I definitely do have to touch up because it is very moisturizing. So just keep that in mind. Next, I have this. I know that you guys knew I was going to talk about this. This is the Hourglass Champagne Flash Highlighting Stick. This is the most gorgeous highlighting stick I have ever used or like cream highlight or cream stick. I guess I don't know um, but it feels so good it feels moisturizing it's right there it goes onto the skin so well it doesn't disturb any foundation or concealer or anything that you put on because it's so easy to work with once it hits your skin it warms and then it just like melts into the skin there's a ton of product in here I honestly don't know how much I have but I can tell you that I'm I'm positive that I have like more than half still and I use this constantly. It's gorgeous. I love to use this on days when I'm doing light makeup and also I love to use it whenever I'm going out. So I'll put this on and then I'll put another highlight on top and it's just like bam in your face and it's gorgeous. Next up I have a buxom blush. These are the primer infused blushes and mine is in the shade Mykonos. I love this. This lasts all all day. I love this shade because it's a peachy pink. It is very pigmented though so be warned. You have to go in with a light hand at first and then just kind of build it up. It literally lasts all day. Like I went and I worked out one day because I forgot to bring makeup wipes with me to the gym and it was still on my face. It was great. I go through like 12 hour days at work and it's still on my cheeks and I don't know what kind of primer is in here but they should like make a primer out of the primer that's in here because it's so good. I have Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a full full coverage foundation. I gave you guys a couple of options for very sheer everyday natural makeup um, but this is like night out on the town maybe two nights I don't know I have mine in the shade 4n1 shell beige and this is just a staple I feel like it is very heavy 
I have to admit, if I wear this too many days in a row, my skin will start to feel congested. So just be warned about that. It literally covers everything. It gives you such a clear canvas. Your skin looks flawless in photos. Um, and yeah, I just really like this, highly recommend this. The next two products I have are powders. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Translucent Powder. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Medium. I love this, I've hit pan on this already. It's gorgeous, I use this as a touch up. I use this as a finishing powder, um, really anything in between. Like I will set my whole face of foundation with this powder and then I'll spray my face with some finishing spray or setting spray and then I will pat a little bit of the powder wherever I feel like I still need a little bit of coverage spray again and then I'm good to go and I also carry this in my purse for whenever I need to do some touch-ups does not look cakey ever it makes your pores just look smoothed out I really think it's worth the price I know that it's super expensive for a powder um, but I've had this for quite some time and I did hit pan but I feel like I still have quite a bit of product so very happy with this purchase I was very hesitant it took me a while to finally purchase it but I'm very glad that I did and this is just an overall great powder it's a translucent powder and the sifter is just so easy to work with because it doesn't get powder everywhere it doesn't give you a white cast whenever you use it you can build it onto the skin and it won't look cakey I like to bake with this um, I set my whole face or sometimes I just do the under eyes it really just varies. I really love to have a loose powder at all times, and this is the one that I'm currently loving. And whenever I run out of this, I do plan on buying another one. My last makeup product is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments. This is in the shade Slow Ride. You guys know that I love these lip pigments. They're so good. They're my favorite liquid lipsticks. They're very liquidy, so I recommend that you shake them up before you open them. Very liquidy. I just love the pigment that these give you like look at that that's insane like you can see that it's kind of drippy it does not accentuate the lines on your lips does not dry down and give you crusty lips last all day I have I think three or four shades and I love all of them I don't know what to say that I haven't said already about these the applicator is amazing as well and you get a lot of product in this so really really recommend you try it out at least in the store um, before picking it up these are great they come in tons of shades I think that they recently expanded the shade range too so I might actually check that out <laughs> Okay, and last I have some hair care. I have two hair products here right now. This is the Briogeo Rosarco Milk, which is a leave-in conditioning spray. This is gorgeous. It makes my hair so soft, so manageable. It does not tangle up my hair. It smells really nice, and it's not a heavy conditioner spray or leave-in conditioning spray. I feel like it just helps my hair look softer and feel softer and just look shinier and healthier. Really like that. I'm planning on picking up a full size because I do just have the smaller one. And then I also have the Way Memory Mist. This is kind of like a thermal heat protectant, but it's in like an aerosol can, which is pretty interesting. I've never owned a heat protectant that's in an aerosol can. I love the way that this smells and it really does feel good in the hair. It doesn't make your hair crunchy. I like to spray this on before I curl or before I um, straighten my hair. I feel like it gives you a more even spray rather than um, a regular like liquid spray if you know what I mean because um, it's just a continuous like it's a continuous spray. Two hair care products that I don't currently have with me, but I do recommend are the Moroccan oil, regular original oil. I love to use that on the ends of my hair. I will put it into my hair whenever it's damp. I'll just put a couple of drops into my hands, warm it up, put it in the tips of my hair, and then kind of work up to the middle. And I feel like that helps my hair look super healthy and keeps my split ends from splitting even more. And I also recommend and the Bumble and Bumble texturizing spray. That is one of my favorite texturizing sprays. I have a couple that I just kind of cycle through. It's light in the hair. It holds the, it's almost like a hairspray as well as a texture spray. I do go through that one pretty quickly. So I will warn you, it will, 
you will go through it fast um but i love that so so much all right guys that is everything or at least i think that it's everything if i missed anything i will make sure to put it down in the description below for you guys it's a ton of products and really you can't go wrong um it's a really great sale and if there's been something that you've been wanting to pick up now is the time to pick it up and you know what if it doesn't work out for you you can always return it sephora has a great return policy i hope that this was helpful for you guys please let me know what you're planning on picking up or if there's something that you think i should pick up that i didn't already include in the descriptions down below for you again if you guys liked this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos just like this one and i will see you guys in my next video bye